Hello everyone! I want to do a makeup tutorial for my evening glam, my birthday dinner makeup, so I hope that you enjoy this video. Like and subscribe. This is my first uh, makeup video, so enjoy! So I'm gonna start with the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. I want to start with the eyes, so I'm just gonna take a little bit of this Tarte Shape Tape over my lids just so that there's a solid base. So for eyes, I'm just gonna be using my Makeup by Mario palette. This is my everyday palette and it's also the palette that I use when I'm going out to. It just has all the perfect shades. I'm gonna take a fluffy brush and go in with this that seven shade. Now I'm gonna go in with this shade and this I believe is matte 11 and with the same brush I'm just gonna take that and just deepen the crease a little bit. Now I'm gonna take the darkest shade which is matte 12, this black shade, and I'm just gonna tap this on the back of my lid. Now I'm just going to take this Morphe M433 and go in with this, <laughs> this one, and this is matte 4, and I'm just going to blend to the brow with this light color. Now I'm going to just take a touch of concealer to my lid, the inner part, and just tap that in with a small brush. I'm going to take this blending brush again and just blend the black a little bit into this concealer so it's not as harsh of a line here. Now I'm going to take my finger into this, I think I'm going to mix between this lightest shade, matte 1 and matte 3 here and just set this brow piece. Now I'm just going to take some highlight shimmer from IBY Beauty and this is in the shade 24K Magic. Just taking this on a finger again. I'm just going to rub that onto my lid. So now I'm just going to take this small little brush with some black and I'm going to do a small wing with eyeshadow and I'm not very good at liner but if I'm feeling confident I'll trace over it with a liquid liner. I'm just gonna curl my lashes a little bit now. Okay we'll come back to my eyes so I can do lashes and mascara but let's start with my base take this Hollywood Flawless Filter. This is in the shade um, 3 Fair. And we'll just blend this with a small bit. I'm going to use my NARS Light Reflecting Foundation in the shade L5 Fiji. But it's a little too orange for or yellowish for my skin tone, so I got this LA Girl Pro Color um, pigment that I'm gonna mix them together, and hopefully it'll cool it down a little bit. So I'm just gonna do two pumps, and then of this blue, you can see it's a little a little yellow. So I'm just gonna take this blue now. I'm gonna do let's try let's start with one pump. Okay, I put too much blue because that's green. So let me put another pump of the, the NARS. I think that's too green and looking. Okay, I'm gonna put another pump of the NARS. All right, let's, let's see how this goes. If it's too green, we'll start over. I think we'll, I think we'll be fine. Okay, so I'm just gonna take my beauty blender. Oh my god, I look kind of weird. I'm just gonna take my beauty blender like this and go like straight to the skin for my hand. I 
it worked. I need to work on my proportions, but it worked. It's a little green, but we can fix it. So just so you can see, this is what I used. Um, this was like, I got this yesterday from Ulta and it was like $5, so, but it definitely makes a difference if your foundations, if you change color, stuff like that. Now I'm going to cream contour with my Fenty um, contour stick and this is in the shade Amber. I also take this on my hand and use a brush from my hand and then put it to my face. So for my nose, I actually take the contour stick and just put it right on the skin. I normally don't like doing that just because in case it rubs. So I'm just going to blend that with my finger. Okay, now I'm going to take my NARS. Um, concealer in the shade 2, oh sorry, light 2 vanilla. And I put this right here. Like that. And I'm just going to put some on my chin. Just because sometimes the redness peeks through. So I'm just going to take my beauty blender again. I also like to take my beauty blender and just kind of stamp in what I've been doing with my cream products. So I'll just go over my contour and I'll do the same after I use my blush. So for blush, I'm going to go in with the Rare Beauty blush in the shade um, Bliss. And Caleb actually got me this for my birthday a few days ago. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to put it on my hand and then take a different beauty blender. And same thing, just kind of get it from here. I feel like this blush has been out for so long and I'm just now getting it, which I don't know why it took me so long, but it's amazing. And I usually take a little bit um, here and also on the bridge of my nose. Okay, now I'm gonna just take my other beauty blender and just make sure that that's all blended in to my contour and my foundation. Now I'm gonna take this Laura Mercier um, translucent setting powder and I'm only gonna bake in my under eyes and right on this cheek because I have a little bit of acne scarring from when I was younger. So I feel like the powder just does a good job of Filling it in, I guess. I have super oily skin, so this doesn't really dry out my skin, but I know some people have said that baking does that, but for me, I know I need it. So while that's sitting, I'm gonna bronze, and this is the Christian Dior, Dior Forever Natural Bronze in the shade 03 Soft Bronze. So I'm just gonna take some of this. Now I'm going to go in with my Dior blush in the shade Rosy Glow. I really want to try the other shade, the orangey coral one, but it's still sold out so I'm just waiting. And I take this pretty close to my under eyes. Okay, now I'm just going to take this NARS translucent um, crystal powder and I love this powder. It has kind of like shimmers in it and when you're in the sun, it's really gorgeous. Obviously, I'm not going to be in the sun because I'm going to an evening dinner, but I just love this. So I'm just going to take this in all the spots that I didn't bake. And then I'm just going to wipe away with the same brush all of that Laura Mer Mercier powder. 
Now we're gonna go back to the eyes. I like to do my uh, base makeup and concealer and all that stuff before I bring eyeshadow around because I want it to really pop. We'll do this light shade on the inside of my bottom lash and then I'm gonna take a darker shade on the outside. Okay, Ugh, I can barely see after that. <laughs> Now I'm gonna take this dark shade here, this dark, dark brown, and I'm gonna do the other half connecting it up to the um, eyeshadow liner. <laughs> okay. Okay, now I'm gonna use mascara only on the top right now because I want it to dry. This, I've been using this pretty much since I ever started wearing mascara. It's the Maybelline Lash Sensational. I love the curved um, tip on brushes. I don't like the straight ones, it just doesn't work out for me. I'm gonna take some black eyeliner just on my waterline on the bottom. Okay, let's do my brows now. I don't do anything crazy. I just use this Anastasia um, brow pencil and I just brush them up. And then I, this is in the color taupe. I literally just fill in the front a tiny bit. So that's all I do for my eyebrows. And then I just take this Benefit 24 Hour Brow Setter gel thingy and gel these bad boys. I got this yesterday. I've been so excited to use it. This is the Charlotte Tilbury um, Color Chameleon, I guess like, I don't know how the heck you would call this, shadow pencil, but it said it's, this is in the shade Champagne Diamonds for blue eyes. So they have like, I think close to like eight shades and each one is like tailored to a specific eye color. So of course I grabbed the one that's for blue eyes and this is so gorgeous. So I'm just gonna put this on my inner corner and on my brow bone. I just kind of brought it into that um, light brown eyeshadow that I put down here. I don't wear highlight, um, but I am gonna take this to just highlight the spots that I normally would wear it. There. For lips, I don't overline my lips really because I don't really like, I don't know, I just don't do it. So I'm gonna take the color Iconic Nude from Charlotte Tilbury, and I'm just gonna line my lips um, kind of how they just naturally are shaped. For lipstick, I'm gonna be using Blankety by MAC. It's like this, it's really light when you put it on your lips, but I love the dark outer and light inner. Now, for the exciting part, I'm gonna do lashes. <laughs> I am not good at lashes, but I I made it my New Year's resolution to try to get better at it, actually, so that's what I'm gonna do. I know that literally no one's gonna ask where these lashes are from after seeing how they look on my eyes, probably, but these are the Kiss Ruffle Lash. I got them yesterday, and I tried to put them on, but I threw out a pair because I got way too frustrated and I think I messed them up. So I'm gonna try today, it's gonna be a better day. Did I do it? I must, I think I did it. Okay, I think the, the lashes are done. So I'm just gonna use some of this Milk Hydro Grip Setting Spray. I'm gonna do my hair and then I'll be right back. So this is the finished birthday makeup evening glam look. Um, I wanna start posting more makeup because I just love makeup. I love doing makeup so let me know if you enjoyed watching me do makeup and hopefully I'll pop some more videos of me doing it out. 
So like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. See you later.